Nice work, soldier. Now let's get this bird in the air. Punch in the target coordinates for the NCR's military bases. Consider this our parting gift to the California territories. We'll be back one day, after we gain a stronghold back east. President John Henry Eden revealed himself to Colonel Autumn a few months ago and gave us standing orders. We got the anti-FEV serum from this base after hiding out in Vault 18 for nearly 10 years. It was a long wait, but I knew he'd come through for us. Now we have a new home, Fort Raven Rock. Can't wait to see it. Just get that missile airborne, and we'll see to your future. It's gonna be bright. Every Enclave officer gets a sweet call sign from their first regimental commander, like Chevy, Leonidas, or Tomahawk. How about we take to calling you Autumn? Colonel Autumn's a friend of mine in the big leagues, and he needs a new captain. You could take up with him. He'll give you the training you need to become a legendary officer. I'm proud of you. Damn right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Fire up this bastard and meet me back at the Vertibird. Let's get out of here. I want to burn this place to the ground and forget it ever existed. The battle is over. New California is burning beneath radioactive skies. The NCR will recover in time, but only as they reach ever northward towards Las Vegas and the frontier. They'll destroy cities and tribes with every new land they take, becoming the mirror image of the Empire they pretend not to be. The remaining Raider tribes are forced to flee to Arizona, and a new Empire begins to rise. What remains of their scattered and broken people integrate into Caesar's legion. In their thirst for glory, they will soon conquer 80 tribes and march onward towards Hoover Dam. With the Fort Daggerpoint complex destroyed and the heart of the NCR burning, the Enclave forces that remained behind at the end of the last war in California begin heading east towards the call of their president. As for you, after a long and protracted campaign to conquer Washington, D.C., the monster from Vault 18 runs straight into the rising fist of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Enclave buckles and breaks under their rebellion, and John Henry Eaton is ultimately defeated by a lone wanderer from Vault 101. You alone survive to carry the tale of Project Brazil. Retreating to Chicago, you send out dozens of iBots in search of any surviving Enclave forces across the American wastes. All return silence. But one. In a last attempt at finding the remaining members of your clan, you return to California at a place called Hopeville. Not long after the town begins to prosper, the Fort Daggerpoint key you kept with you all those years triggers the self-destruct on the town's arsenal of buried nuclear weapons. Haunted by your past and chased by the NCR, you are forced to find ways to hide your tracks. While searching for another ex-agent, you take a job as a courier. Hot on his trail, you come into possession of a mysterious poker chip. You are tasked with taking the item to New Vegas. But along the way through Good Springs, your bad karma finally catches up with you next to a shallow grave in the desert. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. 
dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. 